hello guys welcome back in this laravel build tutorial we are going to learn about the laravel eloquence and in the other uh, framework we can say that the model like the ci or the kick php so now let's get start with that okay so first question is what is the uh, laravel eloquent okay so it's similar to the model and here we will use it basically to fetch the data from the database table all right so in this video we will make a router we will make a new controller and we will make a model and fetch the data from the database and uh, show on the screen so with a very simple example so now let's get start with that so first of all i am going to make a router sorry first of all i'm going to make a controller so for that i'm going to write here php artisan make controller controller name like YouTube all right and hit there oops we got some error so let's check what is that PHP make controller YouTube okay so we got a controller controller inside the controller folder all right so this is the controller nice okay so now i'm going to make a model for the model i'm going to just write here make model and model name is user all right so now you get the user here inside the app directory directly all right so uh now let's i'm going to show my table in the php my admin okay so this is my test database which is connected here and this is connected through the dot env file and here is my env file and if you don't know how to its work then you can watch our previous video for uh, overview then you have to just change on these three things then you have to put your database name this is a test username and the password and it will work here all right this is my database name you can see that and my table name is users so uh, guys laravel equivalent it's uh, pretty smart then if you make the use uh, model with the name of user then it will directly fetch your uh, database table users it's a plural of it okay that if you want to uh, put the uh, custom name like the uh, users tables and users data then you can also do that but in this video we are going to consider the basic thing then uh, we will uh, do it in this video okay so now then you can see that we have a users dot php model and we have to make first of all a path for youtube controller so just i'm going to make a function here like public function show all right and just for now just echo here works all right okay now just go to the web.ph to define the model and it's pretty easy uh, i'm going to write here youtube all right and here i can write my youtube name this is my model uh, controller name all right and just start your php artisan command okay just open now your model here and just put here your route oops that's my bad i have to just put here youtube so now you can see that we got the works here all right and now uh, i have to add this model uh, our user model in your uh, youtube file so just you can use the choose keyword like a namespace use app because it's it's inside the app folder all right and directly use your user all right 
now it's a pretty simple so now just take a variable like data and in the data just you can write here user scope resolution find one all right and that's it now just try to print it out and you will see that we got the data inside here print minus r and just write here data and now let's see so now you can see that we got the data for simplify this you can just uh, write here to array function all right okay now it's fine oops you got some error here okay so let's i have to check that to array in laravel okay to array in laravel what is the exactly function name to array it's fine i think but it's not working why let me check Mm -mm. okay i think it's used with uh, get i think okay so just use here it with the get okay now let's check is it working or not okay so we will it's not a part of this video <laughs> we will check that what's the issue of with that i will commend you because i don't want to waste the time here okay so you got the data here so let's match it with the table and for very simplify just we can do one more thing just write the pre tag here and you will get it in the format all right so you can see that we got the data here we have the two tables we have the two columns here rows i think uh sam and dylan and you got the data here with the sam and you got the data because it's we are find just one data if you write if you write the second one then it will get the data from id according to second all right and if you want to get the all data then just simply write here all that's it okay so now you get the data for sam as well as for dylan all right and if you just uh, return this from here then it will show you in the json format all right so you got here with that all the two rows in the json format so uh, and if you want to put the uh, custom table name then uh, okay then just check here we will complete it in this video custom table okay so just check here very quickly okay so we have to just write here this line here so let's say uh, i want to show you that the example let's say i just change the table name with the operation the users to use data and let's go with that and if you want to catch this then it will not going to work why because the table name always should be a uh, plural of your controller name it's a user and there should be users then if the table name is not match with the database and model then you can put put here directly this one so if i write here uh, the new table name use a data here then let's see then it, it will work for, work here all right so it's about the basics of the laravel eloquent or model and in the next video we will see how we can use the joints uh, with which we call it here uh, relations in the laravel and how we can do that and we will use the where conditions and all these things with that okay guys so thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe our channel and if you have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box also so thanks guys thanks for watching this video